This is Damien with TheUnlocker.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to load Mac OS X Snow Leopard on your Dell Mini 10V PC. Alright, so there's a few things I need to mention before you begin. Um, one, like any device, hacking or modifying or anything like that, there's going to be some sort of risk. Um, this is not, not going to be any different. Um, the, the risk is very minimum, but it's, there's still a chance. Um, also, if you don't have a Dell Mini 10V, it has to be the 10V model. Um, this guide may work on another PC or laptop or even desktop. Um, you might just have to try it or, or just Google it for your specific model. Um, but, you, but if you have a, net, a netbook with the N270 Intel Atom processor, and similar specs to the Mini 10V, you should be fine. Um, also, when you install the Snow Leopard software on the Mini, it's going to erase the entire hard drive. If there's anything on it that you need or you need to be um, transferred to another hard drive or to save it or anything like that, you need to do that first. And also, if you don't like the Mac OS X or if it doesn't work and you've already deleted everything off your hard drive, the only way to restore Windows or Linux is with the install CD. Okay, so after weighing all the risks and having the appropriate backups, if you want to proceed, there's a couple of things that you're going to need. Um, one is going to be a USB portable mouse. And later on in the video, I'll show you exactly why you need that. Um, you're going to need a PC, a separate PC with a DVD drive. It could be a laptop or a desktop, doesn't matter, even another Mac. Um, you're going to need a 16 gig USB uh, flash drive. Um, an 8 gig may work, but I haven't had any luck with it. The 16 was the only thing that worked for me. You're also going to need an additional 1 gig USB flash drive to load the boot image onto it. And the most important thing is you're going to need a retail copy of Snow Leopard 10.6.3. Um, you can get that at apple.com for $29.99 it's about a five day wait period for it to be shipped um, eBay has them they're a little bit more than $30 though that's where I got mine from um, it, a burned pirated copy is first of all it's illegal second of all to be honest I've tried it it doesn't work for whatever reason I've tried at least 30 burned copies they just don't work for some reason so it has to be retail and it can't be a DVD that came with a, a MacBook or you know a Mac desk, desktop or whatever. It has to be a retail copy. And like I said, you can get them at Apple.com. Okay, so after you have all the appropriate hard drives, um, the mouse and the, the DVD, and the PC with the DVD drive, um, there's a couple programs and a file we need to download. Uh, the first one is going to be the bootable. Um, netbook installer and that's going to be able to boot the Mac operating system onto your Dell Mini so we're just click on this link to download that after it's done downloading just go ahead and place it on your desktop and you can actually extract it now extract it to your desktop so then the next file we're going to download, or it's actually a program, is the clone CD program. So go ahead and click on that. Then just click on download. Okay, so after the clone CD is installed on your PC, we're going to download the TransMac program. And we're just going to do that the same way as we did the clone CD program. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is pop in the DVD, the Snow Leopard DVD, into your PC. And just so you know what it looks like, this is the cover of the retail version, and then this is what the DVD is going to look like. So just go ahead and pop that in. Okay, once you have the DVD in, um, we need to actually write the image. So we need to open up Clone CD. It's a free uh, trial version, so that's fine. You want to select the first option, which is Read to Image File. Click on that. Click on Next. And now we're going to browse to where we want to save the new file. So we're going to go to our desktop. We're going to rename it 
Mac OS X. And then in the Save as Type section, we're going to save it as an image file. Click on Save. Then click, um, click on OK. And now it's going to go ahead and burn it. Um, not actually burn it. It's going to make a copy of the DVD ver in an image format onto your desktop. This is probably going to take about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how fast your PC is. So just sit, sit tight. Alright, so now, now that you've written the new image, we need to plug in the 16 gig USB flash drive. Once it's plugged in, go to your start menu, go to your computer, locate the new disk, right click it, and then select format. Now we're just going to wait until it's finished. Okay, once it's done formatting, you should have this format complete dialog message box here. Select OK. Then you can close out of that. And now we need to write the new image onto the freshly formatted USB drive. So now you want to open up TransMac. It's going to be a trial version unless you purchase the key, so you could just hit run. Your USB drive should now be listed in the left hand panels. Right click it go to format disk and then go to format with disk image locate the Mac OS X image that you created earlier select it then select open and select OK now this process should take um, again anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes okay so once we write the image to the USB drive now we need to write the boot image to the one gigabyte USB drive so plug that in then go to your start menu back to your computer right click the drive so and select format okay that was quick so select OK then close and you can close out of this now we need to go back into TransMac right click the appropriate drive make sure you select the right one right click that again select format disk and then select format with disk image browse to the location of the NBI boot image file click on that and select open then select OK okay so once you have the images burnt to both USBs we need to move on over to the Dell Mini and we need to configure the BIOS first. So that's going to be our next step. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is boot up the Dell Mini and configure the BIOS. So once you power it on, we need to hit F2 at the first screen. Okay, once you're here, you need to use the arrow pad and scroll over to Advanced using the down arrow go to Bluetooth make sure it's enabled if it's not you can hit F6 that will select the enable feature then scroll down one more to USB BIOS legacy support if it's not enabled again hit F5 or F6 that's going to enable it scroll over to the boot option select USB storage hit enter go over to exit scroll down to save changes or you can hit F10 and then select yes okay once you have the BIOS configured and the computer powers back off it may power back on um, once you hit save just power back off we want to plug in the smaller USB drive the one with the boot image on it plug that in press power Now, as you can see in the upper left-hand corner, it's reading the USB drive. It's it's not going to load anything right now because I we did not plug in the other USB drive with the Mac OS X Snow Leopard image on it. So you're just going to be stuck with a blank cursor. So now what you have to do is power it back off. Okay, once it's powered off, we want to plug in the USB drive with the Mac image on on it plug that in and then hit power again
And now this time when it fully loads, it should load the first portion of the install screen. Okay, there we go. Okay, now that we have the first portion of the install screen, it's asking which hard drive we want to go to. So we want to select the USB drive with the Mac install on it. So hit the left arrow, or it might be the right arrow, right arrow on your computer. Hit enter. And now it's going to begin to load the primary files for the install. Okay, so after it finishes loading, um, and this you see this screen here, we can start doing the first portion of the install. And to get to this screen, it's probably going to take anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes, depending. Um, don't panic. As long as you see a spinning wheel on the bottom of the Apple screen, the previous screen, you're fine. So now we need to plug in our USB mouse. So go ahead and do that. Make sure English is checked at the top. Hit next. And now it's going to prepare the system for the installation. Okay, so on the next screen, click continue. Accept the terms and conditions. Hit agree. Now before we go any further, once the hard drives loads up here, we need to go into disk utility and format the hard drive. Okay, so go up here to utilities, scroll down to disk utility, select that. Okay, now we need to go select the Dell Mini's hard drive. We need to select Erase, scroll to the Mac OS Extended Journaled option, and then click on Erase, and to confirm, hit select Erase again. Okay, so after it erases the hard drive, we need to go and select Partition, go to Volume Scheme, select One Partition, go down to Options, Make sure GUID partition table is selected. Select OK. Then select Apply. Then select Partition to confirm. OK, after the partition completes, we need to get out of Disk Utility. So click on Disk Utility and then Quit Disk Utility. Now you can see the hard drive is free and available select that then click install now this process is going to take um, probably about 15 15 minutes to a half hour but probably more than that uh, it depends how fast everything loads so just sit tight and uh, wait for this to finish okay so once it installs successfully it's going to ask you to reboot power the computer off don't reboot yet pull out both the USBs and now we can reboot so after you unplug the USBs just go ahead and power it back on okay so once you get to this screen with the circle on the bottom of the Apple it's probably gonna sit here for about 10 to 15 minutes you can just leave it and this is going to be the longest portion of the reboot. Okay, so after we get past that screen, it's going to load up to this screen here. After the welcome animation, you're going to be presented with all the setup prompts. Simply file through them until you get to the normal Mac start desktop. Now, after the desktop starts, you're going to probably have a prompt for a software update. Do not update. This will break your computer. I'm going to do another video to show you how to update to the latest software. Hope you enjoy this video.